Hi everybody, Jason here, and today we're going to be doing another Lego build. Uh, so the build that we're going to be doing is actually the Ghostbusters Ecto-1. And so this was celebrating the 30th anniversary of uh, Ghostbusters, and it was number six in the series of Lego Ideas builds. And uh, this came out just a little bit after uh, Harold Ramis passed, um, so it was kind of like bittersweet. Um, it's cool that it's the Ecto-1. It was a little bit sad because they included like a little, um, like, sorry for the noise, <laughs> but there's a little picture of him on the back, Egon, and uh, basically says, who are you going to call? And it's kind of cool that he was the one that they used for that. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's just a standard build. It's a vehicle. It is the Ghostbusters Ecto-1 from the actual movies. And I will say they did a really good uh, representation of the vehicle. So I'm going to build this. Uh, just so you know, I've already built this. Like, this is a set that I've already had. Um, if you watched the video that I did talking about Ghostbusters movies, uh, you'll know that um, I already had this built. So uh, here's me tearing it down. <laughs> Thanks to editing magic. Um, so I'm actually just gonna build it up again. Um, honestly, I don't mind. This is a pretty fun uh, build. It's 508 pieces, um, so and it's not really that hard. Um, I like the box that they put it in, uh, and you'll see more of the box as uh, I'm actually doing the build. Uh, but then the other cool thing about it is that, you know, the manual. The manual for these things are actually really nice. Um, it's almost like a semi-hard co hard color and a hardcover book, and it basically helps give you, like, a little bit of a description of the actual uh, build itself. So basically just, you know, tells you, it's like here, it's like introduction to the Ghostbusters, and then, there we go. And then as you actually go through the build, um, what you'll find are, sorry, there's a few different languages in here. <laughs> uh, what you'll find is that it has little uh, tidbits of information. So this one says, uh, Venkman, somebody blows their nose and you want to keep it. I'm basically talking about uh, collecting the spores, mungus, fungus, and slimes for Spengler. And so here it says, Spengler. I collect spores, fungus, molds, and fungus. <laughs> That's when he's talking to Janine and the uh, office. But anyway, I'm gonna get to this, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have fun building this car. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and get to this, and I'll see you guys when it's all done. Bye bye for now. I'm left with these three random pieces that I must have picked up elsewhere. Like this I probably used for the 4x4. Four four. This I don't know what I used for. If I used it for anything. Anyway, um, then you put this on top like this. This tucks up underneath here. This goes down on the side. And then that follows the side of the car. And that's it. There you go, Ecto-1 build. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this guy. So basically, um, the level of detail in this thing is amazing. Like, I'm impressed from the front, to the sides, to the back, to the top, and even to the interior. And characters do actually fit inside this, so let's... Um, I don't know if I can fit all of them inside. 
But here, let me let me try something. So and take the packs off. You can sit back there. <laughs> um, what was it just like? Put a pack in the back. <laughs> and then his little thing there. And then let's take off another pack. Walkie. Let's put Ray. So there you go, there's three characters in that car. So, oh, really? <laughs> Maybe I planned that incorrectly. Anyway, but look, I can put like a pack and I can put three characters in that and I don't know, it's it's great. I mean, yeah, I can't fit all four characters. Boo hoo, woe is me, everything is wrong with the world. But no, they did right, they did a really good job. And um, I was super excited, I was super excited to see this kit. Um, just being a big fan of Ghostbusters, but just with the, uh, the attention to detail that they've put into this thing, I mean, it's it's impressive. Like, it really is. Um, it I love to see this sort of thing, and if I ever can, I'm going to get that um, $400 uh, um, Ghostbusters HQ, and I'm gonna build that thing. I'm gonna have fun. And it's gonna live in my house forever. <laughs> let's see, let's put this in his hand properly, shall we? There you go. There you go, Winston. Winston. But yeah, great build, lots of fun. Level of detail is incredibly high. Um, I think this was only like. Was it only like, it was either 40 or 50 bucks when it first came out. But uh, yeah, definite thumbs up for me. Um, I'll take some shots and I'll leave them at the end. Uh, but yeah, I'll put a link up. No, no, it's up here in this corner uh, to another one of my build videos. Don't forget to comment and like uh, and subscribe down below. And, you know, let me know what you think. I mean, did you pick this up? Have you picked up the... Uh, the uh, the headquarters. Have you built it? Um, I think that one comes with an ecto as well. Um, but yeah, I this is a fantastically solid build. Definitely one of my favorite. It's, it's got lots of good action on it too. Well, <laughs> bye bye guys. Like, comment, and subscribe down below if you know what's good for.